Slam Master. I'm gonna give you some tips with the uh, Slam Master Pro pickleball drill training pad, all right? Uh, first of all, go slow. Everybody takes it out of the package, they try to play pickleball with it right away. You don't, you're not gonna hit pickleball shots right away. You're gonna have to go slow, gain control of the paddle and the ball, and then move on and, and get that, all that hand-eye coordination. So I'll show you what to do and what not to do. You tend to take it out of the package and do this. That ain't gonna work. What you wanna do to gain control, you're gonna hit it soft and out and pull your paddle back when the ball peaks. Forget about the cord. You're not pulling the ball back or anything like that. It's got to be all natural pickleball motions. Back, 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 back. And I'm hitting the ball out front. Back, back. And when you gain control of that, then you want to go to your backhand and forehand. Alternate. Back, 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 back. Now I'm hitting high shots. I know what all your coaches out there and all your pickleball experts are saying, that's not a good shot. You want to gain control with the paddle, then you can hit your good pickleball shots, all right? A good pickleball shot is net high. So you want to hit the ball net high when you gain control of the paddle and the ball. Net high, there you go. And then do it on the backhand. When the ball starts getting low, don't drive it into the ground. You want to get under, low, soft, high, hard. That's what we do in pickleball. So here's a low shot. You want to get under, bend your knees, paddle out front, and get under that ball. And then start hitting net high. Nice and easy, just over a net. Imaginary net. There you go. I'm going to give tips on dinking. You don't want to fish, and I'll show you what people do when they dink and they fish. That. You want a natural pickleball motion. So what you want to do with your dinks is get low. Ball is going to come back when you get low. Just get low and ready. Do not do this. Alright? Do this. Get low. That's your dinks. This kills me, this tip. You don't want to wrap the cord around the hands. When you go to store the Slam Master, all you have to do is wrap it about five times around the head. And bingo, it's done. That's it, you store the paddle. The other way, you're there all day winding it around the handle and you have to unwind it around the handle. So wrap it around the head of the paddle, it'll save you a lot of time. So don't take it and dangle it and hit it. What you want to do, and pick a ball, you hold the ball when you go to hit it. So you drop the ball and, and hit it with the paddle. So none of this dangling with the cord and hitting it, because you're going to screw up the cord, you're going to get knots, which we'll get to the next tip. If you hit it early or late, you're going to end up with a knot in, in the cord. You want to take these knots out immediately, because if you start keep continue hitting it, the knot becomes so tight, you can't take that knot out. So when you're playing with the Slam Master, you see a knot, take it out immediately. You don't want to have knots in your cord. When the cord twists, you want to untwist the cord. Let the ball spin out. You want to untwist the cord. There you go. This is how you take care of the Slam Master. Just to let you know, the Slam Master paddle is lifetime warranty. You break the paddle, you break the cord, you break the pull, whatever, contact us, we will replace it. Have fun with your Slam Master. Slam Master, your secret weapon to bring your game to the next level. Two paddles to choose from. Slam Master Pro Graphite Practice Paddle, Slam Master Original Wood Practice Paddle. Order yours today at SlamMaster.net. Make sure you scan the QR code in the corner. Slam